properties. Okay, right now I got it on my webcam, but that's not what we want to use. One second. We might have to use the webcam. I know y'all can hear me right now, but I'm going to um, see if I can get the stuff to happen on my actual microphone. Okay, you guys should be able to hear me on the webcam. We'll just use the webcam for now. Um, so you guys can hear me, right? What's up, Sharon Dawson? What's up? Long time no see. What's up, um, DD929? Can you guys hear me now? It's going through my um, webcam, which isn't ideal, but that I had to do. I'll just sit and wait, just to make sure you guys can hear me. Yep, I can see audio input on everything. So, I also see my Mario game overplayed by mistake, but uh, that's okay. Um, let's see here. All right, let me just make sure you guys can hear me. Okay, sound is good. Okay, y'all. Um, personally, I think this Bitcoin rally is fake. I think it is very, very fake. Um, it's going, it's moving. Let's see, it hasn't reached oversold yet. So maybe it gets to 23, 24 possibly before it reaches oversold. But I think this is just a fake rally. What do I base this on? So we're about 22 months until the next halving, right? Um, so let's just look that up so we can just be right about it next. Bitcoin having. Let's look it up and get exact info. Okay, so next Bitcoin having date likely to occur in 2024. Do they give a date? Okay, so last dates I've seen are like um, May or March 24. So let's say, let's say, Let's say March 24, because that's the most soon. That's the soonest. So we're in September right now. Three months from now would be December. Two or three months after that, which is six months, would be March. And then you do 12 more months, which would be March 2024. So we got basically 18 months, okay? So if we come over here and look at our chart here so we need to basically go back 18 months before the last having which was it gave us the date on that last having was may 20th so go back 18 months before that puts us somewhere in um 20 2018 So let's make this chart just the Bitcoin and not the extra stuff. So 2018 is about right here, right? So we go in there and look. Around the same amount of time, we see these same kind of little fake outs and a dip here in November. So do we see the same type of just precipitous dip? 
not I don't think it's likely but I definitely think we see something like okay it, it pops it pops up just to pop back down and go lower so I don't believe in this rally at all what do y'all think and what are your questions so yeah let me see you guys go ahead and uh, bring up any questions you want but yeah I don't I don't think we I don't think we get it um, I don't think this rally I think this rally is pretty fake um, we might see we might see it keep going a little bit like when ethereum merges but then I think we see a heinous just like terrible backlash because different people are going to be hyping up the merge hyping up the merge and that's exactly when um, big pockets um, short us so people are going to come out here hyping up the merge because of the um, because of the little run we're having right now and what's going to happen is the big money is going to wait until we're all all happy and and hopeful <laughs> And short the hell out of us, and we end up past the 17 point. Um, do I think we go much past the 17 point? Maybe to 15, maybe to 13, but 17 is the first marker here. 17 4. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I think we have in store for us over here. Okay, if I don't see any questions from you guys, um, one of the things that I would like to kind of look at, and I'm going to start looking at on the channel, um, what we have been looking at so far is um, we've been looking at stuff like Cyperium, and I definitely suggest you guys check out Cyperium. Um, the videos on that, it looks like the Fed is working with those guys um, and they're creating a service called the Fed now and um, basically that CBDCs will be here with us in 2023 so um, that bodes well for Cyperium if they can be chosen if they can be chosen that definitely means that a lot of money is gonna um, go back and forth between these central central banks with Cyperium so they're gonna get the fees from that so um bodes really well really really well for them um and believe me we brought it on the channel at like a cent i believe if we come over here and take a look at it bringing them up here so yeah it keeps it keeps sliding and of course like everything else right now um three cents is a little high for it but I guess if you want to get in you might as well kind of get in and average down if it goes back to one cent but um yeah if it's if it's going to be picked up by the Fed and used by the Fed one cent at about eight million supply hmm, it's not it's not too bad to have it at one a one to three cents at eight million supply um, there are a few different coins that we can look at that have uh, way bigger supplies than this, like Hedera. And they're also kind of involved in CBDCs um, that, you know, are double it right now, right? Um, so that really bodes well for CBDC. But another thing that we m might uh, want to start looking at besides CBDCs in the world of WEF, this also is kind of in the world of WEF. Our um, carbon credit coins, as much as I despise carbon credits, which reminds me, don't forget guys to come over here and check me out on Rockfin. A nice little following over here on Rockfin. I think most of you guys are already over here. 200 followers on Rockfin. Very, 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 very uh, thank you guys so much for that. 
but um over here on rock fan we got more esoteric stuff and maybe one of these days I'll do a live stream on Rockfin so we can like really talk guys and not have to worry about getting censored and we can really talk about certain things. Um, let me see if you guys got any questions yet. What's up Riviera Group? Um, any significant updates going on that would um, help the direction of LCX and Rose in the market? Well, um, good you brought that up. Uh, <laughs> Um, okay, so the the queen died, um, you know, so the queen died. Um, there are rumors that um, Charles, Charles is a big uh, WEF guy. Um, there's some guys I were watching on Rockfin. They had some video or something with him. Like, okay, I think it was Grand Theft World. They had this guy in front of the WEF. I hope this doesn't play. It probably is. And I don't want I just want to look at their channel. Uh, let me see if we can just go to his channel. Let's see if we can see that picture. Okay, apparently it's not up here anymore. Um, it might have been this video, but it showed him back in the day with the, the World Economic Forum. Let's see if we can just do a quick search on that. But anyways, um, um, Charles seems to more be in line with uh, the, the World Economic Forum. So let's see if we can kind of confirm that. WEF Prince Charles Okay, of course the great reset or I probably shouldn't have said that word the great something Okay, so he's spoken he's he spoke at the World Economic Forum before if that's or if that's that might just be a graphic but has he ever spoke there before? Seems like there's a whole bunch of stuff connecting him to the World Economic Forum. Somebody put it together a graphic there and it looks like those two talking there. I don't know if that's a graphic. Kind of looks like there's a podium between them. So you can kind of believe that that's actually Charles, Prince Charles and Kyle Swab at the World Economic Forum. So um, perhaps this means that this pushes more LCX, more Rose stuff, more um, more um, Metaverse stuff. Because if we go on to the World Economic Forum's website, they're pushing the um, Metaverse pretty, pretty heavily. Um, which really begs, which really, um, which really bodes well for Rose because Rose is teamed together with uh, Facebook Meta. And if you go on their site, they really were pushing Facebook Meta very, very heavily. Now, last time I was on their site, it, it was when, um, it was when Davos, when their world, uh, their yearly meeting was going on. I don't know why I can't talk today. Y'all just gonna have to be patient with the brother for real. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, last time I was on here, they were pushing the metaverse pretty heavy. It seems like they've changed some stuff up here. Let's see if I can see. Let's see if it can be pretty easy to find here. Climate change. Okay, the metaverse. Featured topics. It's a featured topic. <laughs> um, so there we go. So you can see here AI technology. Um, you can see they're wearing like Oculus headsets here. 
like so really this bodes very very well in virtual and augmented reality this ver bodes very well for projects like rose um, and of course lcx is a member of the world economic forum so projects like that also bode well um, now I know people have their thoughts on the, the World Economic Forum and I'm about playing both sides of the field um, if you come and check out some of my content here I mentioned some of that as we go into eCash versus CBDCs so it's okay to have some privacy tokens or maybe some eCash or some Bitcoin um, and then on the other side have like metaverse stuff and um, World Economic Forum stuff um, that's that's kind of where I'm at with it but you can see here climate change is also very very heavy on their list of things and um, <laughs> I I wish I could talk more about the climate change, but we're gonna have to do a like a, a an episode on Rockfin. We're really gonna have to do a live on Rockfin. But seeing as how uh, climate change is something that they're pushing, um, certain cryptos I think are gonna be really good for us to look at. Like Power Ledger is one of them. Another one is um, Energy Web Token. Um, this was one that was called out by the SEC as a security and it's like okay whatever and if we look at all time and you can see it it had a little spike there today up five cents only to come right back down which is weird maybe some investor just put some money in right quick and spiked it real quick but you can see it was as high as a dollar uh, eighty um, in the last bull run here, 2017, and it got up to almost eighty cents in the last bull run. So we we'll say it reaches as high of eighty again. That's a four x, right? But um, I know BlackRock has specifically called out Energy Web Token, so that might be one that we want to look at. It's probably at six, okay, about five dollars right now. Um, it had spiked again it, itself. And we can see here it's up about 40 cents on the day. Everything probably looks high on the day here today, but yeah, it, I thought I noticed a couple of days ago this spike passed like 550, um, and it's back down to like 450. So this might be another one we want to look at very very low supply max supply of a hundred million um, if we look at where it's been it's been as high as twenty dollars so then again and this one hasn't even it's only been out for the last bull run it wasn't around in 2017 so again we see a possible 5x here right more than 5x so Hope that thoroughly answers your question, Scott. I think um, with kind of Charles in here, we might see a little even further movement of the stuff that the World Economic Forum is pushing as far as the great, you know what I'm saying. So maybe we see more climate change type of stuff like carbon credits, which I hate in the poor. Um, maybe we see more stuff like the metaverse being pushed through. Um, any crypto that probably relates to their their uh, big topics or might be cryptos that we want to really keep an eye on because these guys literally have like kings and queens behind them with the World Economic Forum so they very much have a huge huge um, a huge uh, amount of money pushing their stuff forward so Any opinion on HBAR's Coinbase listing tomorrow? Oh, real talk in here with the real talk. Um, you know what? It's about damn time <laughs> that they listed them. Like, there is no reason for them not to list HBAR. 
Um, H bar has never really had any scandal, like a XRP with the S SEC. Um, we probably see a really big spike tomorrow from it. Um, but will we be able to catch it? I have no idea. Um, but really, like I said, I think we will probably see a spike from it. But um, really, we want to hold on to these things um, for the next Bitcoin halving. But if you're adventurous, this is not financial advice. If you're adventurous, um, you might want to try to play the spike tomorrow if you know the time that they're going to be listed. Um, you might want to try to do that. Not financial advice. But thanks for that real talk. That's awesome. So, yeah, where do we go here? We just mentioned, so Energy Web Token, they're going to be one of the ones that are going to be on this whole, like, carbon credit decarbonization type of deal of climate change. You can already see with, like, news articles and all this stuff and different weather patterns, it seems like to be something that the elite people want to push with climate change. So um, that's something we should definitely be aware of and be on the lookout for. Um, so let me bring up one more. I think it was you who gave me this one, Real Talk, or it was one of the listener, listeners who gave me Dovu. I still haven't I still haven't looked all into this because brother was watching a lot of footballs this, this uh weekend. But um I need to I need to really check this one out. And then the other one, like I said, was Power Ledger. Let's bring that up. Again, if I sound a little weird today, I'm doing the sound is coming through the um, the webcam. I don't know what's up with my microphone at this point, so I'll have to debug that a little bit later. But sorry if it sounds a little weird. I it's because it's going through the webcam today. So we got Power Ledger, we got Dovu, we got Energy Web. So these, I guess, would be the little start of our own of um, like three of our carbon credit or decarbonization cryptos. Because watch sooner or later, and you can kind of tell with these um, with these websites that they're moving away from the the term carbon credits. And they're moving around, moving to like decarbonization. They they really know, and they can parse the data from Twitter and Google and YouTube, and know which terms that we don't like. So they just switch it up and tweak it a little bit, um, just like how I showed you guys last time. Um, I think it's in one of those videos there. How they moved away from the term CBDC and moved to like the term instant payment um so yeah that's that's what we're dealing with now any more questions out here guys and if you came in a little late um what i'm thinking about this whole rally is i'm thinking it's fake it might be a rally kind of in anticipation of the Bitcoin of the uh, Ethereum merge, but what I think we'll see is a heinous like like short um, once it goes up like <laughs> whatever that merge is supposed to be. I'm not even paying attention to the merge because I just think this is a fake fake rally. But um, yeah, I know they were supposed to 
merge sometime here in September. I don't know if I have the exact, I don't have, remember the exact date. Let me see if I can find it. The um, merge date. Thank God they used the actual spelling of when. I really hate, <laughs> I hate when I see W-E-N, when. I, there's like a whole bunch of words that I just don't like, like huddle. But anyway. Have they given an exact date? Okay week of September 19th okay so maybe we have this rally go f for okay so I know if this was like a stock and this was like earnings the rally would probably go to like right before the earnings and then like you have a huge like short and then like stuff will start selling off before the earnings sometimes so um maybe we see the rally for this week and um around saturday or sunday it'll start pulling back um because so i think it'll pull back a little early because everybody will think it'll go all the way into the merge but it won't so that would be my thought what do you guys think Okay, you, that, I'm looking at your question. Can Rogue Miner successfully fork Ethereum? If so, that's the worst that can happen to the point. Um, the POS, uh, the proof of stake. I would assume, I would assume that they have somebody working on that. Um, yeah, I, I would assume that they have somebody working to make sure that no one would be able to... Um, fork the Ethereum or um, do something in which it gives them a advantageous pull of Ethereum um, because I really think once Ethereum moves over the proof of stake what's going to happen is like big money people like the World Economic Forum they're going to go and they're going to buy it up and Ethereum is now going to be controlled by the big wigs just like Hedera is. So um, I really think that that means that now Ethereum is going to be in hands in the hands of the big wig people. Because um, most most people, as it is right now, can't afford like thousands and thousands of dollars of Ethereum. So um, I think that now Ethereum moves from being out of the hands of the people where they could actually mine it to being in the hands of corporate. Um, let's see here. If we have ETH on a hardware wallet, will proof of work update? Um, I'm not sure what you guys have to do to like convert your tokens if you need to convert tokens or, or not. Um, but I, I once heard that um, people that have the mining stuff with start a mining ethereum classic um not so sure how how that can go if ethereum classic is even being worked on like that i know that uh, cardano had some things with ethereum classic while they were helping them out um a while ago but yeah that's that's about where i'm at with that <laughs> Will Bitcoin test the 1800s again? Never. The 18, 1800s? Okay, so like 2000? Like $2,000? Or are you, okay, are you saying, okay, 18K? Will it test 18K? I would say yes. Um, you know, of course, not financial advice, but I will say that it will test it again because 
we have quite a while until the next Bitcoin halving. And we're coming up to the end of the year where the big boys like to rebalance their portfolios with stock and whatnot. Um, so what we might see is institutional money pulling some money from Bitcoin and putting it into different types of stocks, which means we see Bitcoin dip. But what we see right now, I think, is the bull trap of those people who are expecting the um, the Ethereum merge to really make Bitcoin go boom through the roof. And uh, I think what it's going to do is just set people up for shorting. Any other questions, y'all? Of course, um, I have a list for uh, my good Patreons like Scott, the Riviera Group. Sorry about that, guys. I have a, um, I can't even, I don't even know how to turn it off. Um, I have a, a I have a um, list for those guys, and if anybody's interested in the Patreon, I give weekly um, uh, crypto lists for the small cost of $7.77 a week, and um, it's less than $2 a, a week for um, a crypto watch list. Um, two of the coins that kind of always are on our watch list because I'm very, very high on them, um, and it wouldn't everybody knows that i'm really high on these coins um <laughs> uh you know what scott i have no idea what's going on with their wi-fi um i know what's going on with my wi-fi uh, my uh, my wi-fi is kind of sucks so um sorry uh my wi-fi kind of sucks for for the time being but um Two coins that I'm always watching to see if I can get them on the cheap. One is LCX. Y'all know I talk m much stuff on LCX. Even though they're a member of the way of World Economic Forum. And LCX has not moved at all with this Bitcoin. Um, with this Bitcoin. Um bull run we see right now is it's just not moved if we come go down and i'm thinking a lot of people are also thinking that this is like a faux rally so lcx just literally just like what rally i don't care <laughs> i don't care about your freaking rally um now dag is the other coin very high on dag DAG actually seems like it it liked the rally just a whole lot. So um so you guys will probably have to wait to see some DAG till after this rally is over because it will be over, believe me. Um, <laughs> um so let's see here. Where are my extra indicators? Okay, I, I really thought that that would be as far up as it came that it would be close to over overbought, but it's only halfway there. Um, perhaps we see it fall a little bit down. Oh, and by the way, another thing that I give the Patreons is a Patreon exclusive is some stuff that I'm doing with astrology. Just you know just to look at it and have it be an extra indicator um so that's a patreon exclusive video um that i'm not planning to release anywhere else but patreon so those guys are getting that as well my last question was a joke about the wi-fi part just curious as to why they're not hosting this week's show with you oh okay uh, those guys are uh, traveling somewhere. Um, they're doing some type of traveling. 
So um, that's why they're not hosting a show this week. But we'll pick it. We're picking it up next week. Um, and by the way, they also, um, the guys over there also started, where am I here? Not the right. So now we also have a watch uh, um, playlist over there. My God, y'all, I can't talk today. I have no idea what's going on. Um, so we also, we do have a playlist going on over here. Sorry, it's taking forever to load. And also, thank you guys so much for 12, 12K uh, subscribers. We're about 25 people away from uh, 13K or, or 1,300. So, uh yeah, 1300 not 13k, excuse me. Uh so thank you guys so much for 1300 subscribe or 13 or 1200 subscribers. Let's get to 1300 and 2000. But uh let's go over here. Want to let let you guys know that cuz sometimes um I may mention things on Benzinga that I don't mention on the channel. So it's always good to kind of go over and check this out. As well as my gentleman of crypto stuff as well. If you guys come over here to the uh, playlist, so we got the Ruel Report playlist there, and um, again, also definitely check me out on the gentleman of crypto. And these guys do uh, crypto. Um, they do crypto uh, news every morning. They're pretty close to, I think, a thousand episodes now. And definitely like check out everything these guys have going over there. Critically crypto, uh, stacks, Bitcoin behind the bar, crypto and down, jump out girls. Um, of course, me, uh, Reggie Middleton. Uh, we got so many good episodes over there. Simon Family Investments. Definitely check all of those guys out. See if we got any more questions here. What's up, Equilibrium? Will the miners rebound? Okay, now we get into the stock questions, boy. Uh, let's let's get back to the stock questions. I believe they will rebound. I really believe they will be rebound. Um, I need to put out a list for my uh, guys on a Patreon, and I'll probably put out a list of just a whole bunch of Bitcoin miners that I have and I, I'm interested in. Uh, miner stocks. Have you heard about the quant stamp? If yes, are you bullish on it short term with the merge coming soon? I have not heard about the quant stamp. And... Um, there's a merge there coming soon. I, I've, I've not heard about it. Let's go check it out though. Quant stamp, okay. Not a bad supply, only 1 billion. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see how long they've been around. Been around since two bull runs. So they're up to 70 cents all the way back here. And then only made it about to 12 cents this last bull run. Let's see who the founders are. Leader in blockchain chain security audits. Okay. Top crypto and enterprise companies include eToro, World Economic Forum, chose QuantStamp to secure their blockchain applications. Pretty cool. So, um, let's see their website. And then let's also check out their Twitter. QuantStamp's mission is to secure the decentralized internet and has protected over 200 B -b 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 billion in digital asset risk from hackers more than 20, 250 startups 
And see, this is another one, another type of uh, sector that we uh, we have to look at, guys. Um, Web3 security. There was another one that um, I did a video on this doing security for Polygon. Oh, man. I think it's hack, not hacking. Hacking is one that does stuff like this. But I had to figure out. I had a past video on it. And I had to go look it up. Well, let's go look at their Twitter and see how many people are following them there. Okay, good, good, good amount of followings. And then let's see the followers that are following them. We got uh, Quantacopia Games. Which is a good big project on um, on um, on Cardano, Parlay Labs. They create um, helium miners. My guy Red Dead Blue Dead, Alluviums following them. Crypto Utility Quest, another good follower of mine. Near Protocol, Cardia, Clever. Voyager, Dapper Labs, okay, they just, just have a, a whole bunch of Origin Protocol, KuCoin, Gate.io, CZ, Leader of Binance, Hacken's following them, then Quilla's following them, Quant's following them. Oh yeah, so they have a quite a list of of people following them coin has my endorsement I'll have to definitely grab some of these um, how how much will the main net move them let's we, I, I'm not sure but let's say they even make it back to 11 cents right that's like from here that's almost like a 6x it's not bad that's not a bad that's not a bad deal so um, let me save them. Shout out to Equilibrium for bringing this to us. Um, it seems like a cool, cool buy to me. Let's see where we can purchase this at, you guys. Um, Coinbase Exchange. So it seems like you can get it on Coinbase. Uh, Gate.io, Hubei, Uniswap. Who else? CoinX, Sushi Swap, and Coin DC. I don't know who that is. DCX. Stock question. Now that XLM speeds up their settlement, what are your thoughts on MoneyGram price action through 2022? Uh, you know what? I think it bodes better for XLM than it does MoneyGram, to be honest with you. Because um, um, that's that's exactly, you're exactly right. And I, I did a video on that as well. Um, Stellar XLM teamed up with MoneyGram to um, boast their, pr their price action. Um, and here we have also XRP. I don't know if you guys watched this video, but... XRP is also teaming up with um, a Brazilian centralized bank, TravelX, to give these guys instant settlements and instant payments. So I think it's all kind of a push. Well, on this end, it's all a push towards CBDCs, but... Um, with MoneyGram and XL, um, XLR, XLM, excuse me, um, I think we see them, uh, we, we see that be a really good boom for uh, Stellar. Let me close some of this stuff down. Especially since, um, you know, remittance payments are just so huge. It's such a big market. Um, so I think, I think we really see that be a big boom for uh, Stellar. For MoneyGram, um, I think it just helps them keep up with the big boys. 
and how do we see that impact impact their stock? I, I really couldn't tell you, but I I would say I would really say that it's a bigger boon for XLM, um, MoneyGram stock as as far as that goes. Um, I I wouldn't I wouldn't be sure. I had to look at it and get back to you on that. And I, I hate to say anything without having um, looked at it first. So I would I would have to get back to you that on that how it impacts MoneyGram. But I think it positive very positively impacts. Um, it very positively impacts uh, XLM. So yes, I think the Bitcoin uh, miners will uh, rebound, and uh, the ones that I'm looking at, uh, I'm going to give to my patrons because I just have to give them more, uh, more, some more stuff because uh, they they actually you know they pay. But um, you, you got two of my big ones right there. Uh, well, one one of my big ones. I like I like Mara, BTBT. BT. Uh, not so much. I like Mara and I like Riot. But I have a whole list of like at least ten things that I'm looking at as far as like Bitcoin and Bitcoin related stocks go. Um, and I, I need to get that to my patrons this week. But yeah, Mara and Riot would be two big ones on my list. Mara actually passed Riot in um, earnings, but um, you know, Mara, Mara and Riot are definitely two big uh, Bitcoin miners on my list. I would bring I would bring up Benzinga Pro, but I think with the amount of uh, <laughs> windows I have open, that will freeze me up and lock me out here. So I don't want to do that and like lose you guys. So I'm not I'm not gonna bring it up today. And I, I had a I had a um I had a series that I was doing on Gentlemen of Crypto where we like talked Bitcoin stocks and kind of how the stocks were going. And I kind of dropped the series because I didn't have that much user interaction for that. Like most people wanted to see crypto, but maybe that's something I need to bring back. Cause um I think I think that's a really good exposure to Bitcoin. Um, if you guys, if you're a person who can't just outright own a Bitcoin, I think everyone should. If you could own a Bitcoin, if you had a big enough purse or a big enough um, savings that you could own a Bitcoin, I think it's a great idea, um, especially at these prices down here, because um, I truly, truly believe that Bitcoin will reach 100k. And at some point, a million dollars. Um, I, I just really believe that. So let's see, Mara stock. Okay, they're not giving us what we want because it's pre-search. But we can go in here at the Yahoo and kind of take a look at it. Oh wow, they made it up to a 14. Oh okay, yeah. That's right. They were at they were at like never mind. So, let's see if we can do max here. So, you can see every Bitcoin having this thing goes like bananas. So, it went kind of bananas before the la the last having and then it went bananas again after the the last having here on um, May 2020 so so it, it went bananas before the having and then it went bananas after the having this time riots looks a little bit better it's more in line with with the actual um, and I definitely suggest you guys use Benzinga Pro for this because Benzinga Pro is like way superior to this. And um, I have a link in my description if you want to use it for um, the first two weeks are free. Um, but then after that, you have to pay. But it, it's so much superior to anything you would use for stock like research. It has all the earnings there. 
it has all like it's all there you can create watch lists and they even they've been integrating crypto into it so i definitely suggest you guys take a take a look at that and like i said i have an affiliate link and like a 35 percent discount i think for you guys on my video so you can see here 2017 right after the 2016 uh having boom and then right here after the last the 2020 having a boom all the way up to 60 dollars so sitting here at eight and every having has gotten higher guess what it's gonna do next having that's that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying um that's all i'm saying We got any more questions right quick, but I'm going to have to do these random lives uh, a little bit more often, guys, so I can garner some questions from you guys and have people that may not have seen the channel before kind of stop in, check me out, see how it's going. Almost everyone is saying gold will appreciate a lot with the ISO coins and... Uh, BRICS adoption. Do you think PAX Gold has a strong future? You know what? Um, I'm not sure what that acronym stands for, but I'm thinking that gold may. Um, I do think that gold will appreciate. Um, and I, I like the ISO coins a lot. Sorry. I like the ISO coins a lot because uh, I think like all the ISO coins are going to have some shape or form into the whole CBDC movement that's going to happen mid 2023. Yes, CBDCs by mid 2023. Um, so, but I think having actual gold would, would benefit you better than um, having um the Pax Gold coin, but you know what? To be honest, I would, I would, I will do a little bit more research on them. But I would assume it would be better for you to actually hold gold and hold precious silver. Um, I'll try to see if I can find where I can get an affiliate link for that, and um, we can buy uh, gold and silver. Um, I'll have to find out a place for that um, because I really think that that's going to be a needed thing because um things like food shortages and climate um climate um issues are probably possibly going to be a thing and if there was ever a like god forbid if there's ever a time that you couldn't get to your crypto or couldn't get to cash having gold or silver or precious metals to trade would be a um would be a very good thing to have so um, um i'm going to be looking into that for us you're welcome so um let's see here guys I'll stick around for some more questions. Let's say uh, we'll go till we're on the West Coast here. So we'll go 520. Not West Coast. We're in, we're in Arizona. But I'm on Pacific Standard Time right now. <laughs> While more questions are rolling in. So which one did we just look at over here? We looked at... Riot, we looked at Mara. Is there one other one that I can look at without feeling like I'm taken away from the patrons? Oh, let me look at his uh, B B T B T. That one's not totally on my list, 
but I'm I'm not I'm not hating on it because I do I do think all of these will go up come the next bull run. So let's see, Max. So yeah, so this one's only been out for one bull run, really. It didn't, it wasn't around for the 2016 one. So it went up to about $21. And honestly, anything Bitcoin related with these, I think will go up. So will it go back to 26? Not, not certain. But honestly, even if it went back to like six, that's what a four X, right? Um, you're not getting, you're not finding that in many stock places, right? Um, and this is actually Nasdaq traded as opposed to a penny stock that's not even like kind of really insured. So um, not a bad, not a bad idea. And and just like I was saying with these. You got the the two x three x type of mentality in it, in these, um, then possibly you know you you load up on some of these and then you can pop, possibly move it into Bitcoin and get more bang for your buck. Let's see, we got a couple more questions. What's the outlook for MicroStrategy with the announcement of another $5 million Bitcoin purchase? MicroStrategy. So let's look at them. So MicroStrategy is another one, and I really should be using Benzinga Pro to do this. Um, I'm just I'm just really afraid with all the tabs that I have up. It'll, it'll mess me up. If you guys were using real internet, this would be no problem, but I'm not using the best internet right now. So let me just make sure I let that be known. It's the internet and it's not Benzinga Pros. That's the problem. Uh, okay, I went to the wrong one. I meant to do micro strategy. I'll have to type in the name since I don't remember. Okay, there it is. Okay. Now, this is for the big ballers in the room if you're going to go with micro strategy, right? Um, I definitely can see it going back to this, like, it was over a thousand at one point, right? Yeah, so, whoops, we don't need to do max on this one. We can do five years. Okay, so, this is inaccurate. I'm pretty sure that it was at over a 1,000 at one point. Let me see what TradeView has to say about this. Um, MSTR. Move it off of crypto. MSTR. Fade back. Get off the um, extra, whatchamacallit. Okay, see, I thought I thought so. It was February 21st, all the way up to 1,300. So let's see. So let's just say it was at 250. So if it was at 250, give or take, that means like a 5x from here. Um, so um, like a 5x from here. Um, and I think this is something that you always have to weigh with these. Like, okay. If you put 260 into to this and you get a possible 5x here, would it be better if you put it into something like, let's say, Riot, where you 
with Riot, its high was nearly eighty dollars. It's at about eight dollars right now. So you got a possible nine to eight X here. And if you bought like say you were buying two two uh micro strategy shares. Um, with these, you could use like $500 and actually buy what? You'd be close to having 100 shares. And with 100, when 100 shares, you can do things like, um, you can look it up. I haven't done a video on it just yet, but you could do things like selling covered calls. Um, you really have to know what you're doing to do stuff like that, but you can extract extra value out if you know how to sell covered, covered calls. Um, and it's a way to give you a little bit extra value until we get all the way out to um, 2024. So you could continuously, continuously sell covered calls on this and continuously lower your, um, your cost basis. So that might be one of the things that you would want to look at. Um, so here you would have a higher... Um, a higher X possible X value here and you if you can get a hundred shares you can sell cover calls and lower your cost basis and that might be one of the things that you would want to look at okay of course not financial advice that might be one of the one of the things that I would look at when um, that would be one of the things I would look at when deploying let me see it that way <laughs> that would be one of the things I would look at because that way it's it's less, uh, you know. So that would be one of the things I would look at when I decided to deploy money either in micro strategies or Riot. But it's it's all up to you, of course. Um, of course, I don't know your portfolio. Your your choice could be to say um, one one choice could be to buy both, right? Like deploy some money in micro strategy and some money and um, riot and have enough for the covered call plus whatever you have in micro strategy depending on how much you have to spend but that bit may be one way you would want to do that or that may be one way I would do that I would, I'll put let me put it that way Okay, do we have any more questions right quick? I guess I went over my time, but that's fine. Because this was the time that we would be doing the Benzinga show. But we had some traveling and stuff going on over there, so we'll have to continue next week. Alright guys, I'll start doing some more random lives because... We got a pretty nice turnout. Uh, thank you guys so much for uh, coming out. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, thanks, uh, Irat SmartPad. Thanks, Elite Equilibrium. Thanks, Tob, Tob BM. Thanks, uh, DD9929. Uh, thanks, Riviera Group, as always. Thanks, Real Talk. Thanks, um, Sharon Dawson. Um, thank you guys so much for coming out. Um, you guys have a really, really good one, guys. I'm going to get out of here, probably watch the football game. Have a good one, guys. Peace.